Yeah. Questions. J W. Rep. I don't know how. J W. I'm just gonna say J W. Asked. You're an excellent woodworker, Pete. Do you keep all the wood you cut or out or discard it? Hey, we're gonna try something out since y'all suggested it, and we got a composting toilet, so why not? There it is. There's the compost, There's right? The toilet. And there's the toilet. Well, the half of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna collect uh, this dust from Pete's wood shop, and we're gonna give it a try and see what happens. Okay, guys. So there is the wood dust, the wood scraps, and we're gonna. Um, Another thing, there's a guy that asked what we do with all our wood scraps. I'll show him. So there's that. One thing we could do with our wood scraps. We're going to test this out. It's a theory. So see if it works. And another thing we do with our wood scraps is I've got this bucket. And this has very fine wood dust. And a lot of our tools, such as our our uh, bandsaw makes very, very fine wood dust. So we save that dust and we use it when we um, mix epoxy. This makes good coloring to make the, uh, the grain or whatever look the same color as the wood. Another thing is, I gotta make a mount for the GoPro, and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually make it so that it'll be out of wood that'll float. So I have a bunch of those small mounts that, that have sticky stuff on them. I'll get a piece of wood, and I'm gonna make a mount for the GoPro that will go upside down and float. When we're in the water, it'll float upside down into the water. So. We got a lot of scrap pieces. I'll show you what we have for scraps. And this is what we do with the, some of the scraps as we make plugs out of them. Well, 
you know, you get a lot of scrap wood when you, uh, and little short pieces. But we try to put them into use. Robert Reed asks, what editing software, if any, do you use? Um, I'm using iMovie on my MacBook. It's great. It works really good. Bruce McIntyre asks, so while Pete works, you drink beer? Sounds like a good gig. Courtney does a lot more than drink beer. She does all the laundry, cooks me dinner, makes my lunches, she goes to work, she lets me work on the boat. So if you can find a girl that good, you better let her drink a beer. Do you all collect rainwater when sailing? Uh, yeah, we do. Um, we got a, actually our water collecting system on our hardtop. And um, yeah. then we filter we take it out. showers. Robert Reed asks, hey Courtney, where do you get the music you use in your vids? Um, sometimes I use whatever's in iMovie, but also YouTube offers um, music that is, you can use it while being, uh, you can use it without copyright problems. So that's kind of cool that, um, and, and I think you can even find um, music that isn't copywritten that you can use in your videos as well. Inside Dave asked, Question for Pete. Wouldn't a half inch drill work better than a 3 8 when you're drilling with that much torque? Oh, he's talking about um, that big yeah. drill bit. Yes, it would. And I have a half inch drill that goes slower. And that definitely would work better. Agreed. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but... Well, the drill. Remember I got that big drill, that one that turns slower with the right angle thing on it? Yeah. That's a half-inch drill chuck in it. Uh, it's got more torque than that one and spins a little slower. But that was a variable speed drill, and uh, it worked. But, yeah, next time I'll grab my half-inch drill. And just, <laughs> you really should. Yeah. yeah. And actually, hand drills work good because they go nice and slow. On Sim asks, why does Pete not rustle up a dog-friendly dog ladder so that Layla can get up and down? You, you can also get up and down it yourself. Um, I don't know what they have. Maybe like a dog slide. That'd be kind of cool. You just slide off the boat. We don't really want her going up and down the ladder too easily because she'll just be gone. Yeah. And we were surprised when she actually can make it up and down the ladder. She doesn't have any problems with it. But uh, if I made it too easy on her, she'd be uh, out of here. Malcolm Williams asked, I've been wondering if you could make a stainless guard for the bow of Norna so when I'm at a mooring ball, it won't tear up the copper of the bow. I've kind of thought about that too. I thought about it for the anchor up at the bow. Um, sometimes when we raise the anchor, the anchor will kind of hit the, uh, the wood stem. So it would be kind of cool to get some sort of um, anything, even if it's not stainless, if it's just copper, you know, um, because stainless and copper... Um, but yeah, I, we have thought about that. Penny's Automotive Service Center asked, Thanks for the video. How do you two like that wind generator you have? What is the make and model if you know? Air X. Yeah, it's an Air X. Love it. Or Air Breeze. I really don't know which one. Yeah, it could be Air Breeze, Air X. It's the better of the two. Yeah. Of the Air X and the Air Breeze. And there's different blades that will make it quieter. Yeah, and there's different blades that'll make it quieter. I like the sound of the wind generator. Some people don't. I'd rather not have the sound of it. Yeah, Pete doesn't like the sound, but I love it. I love the sound. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow.